and I just make sure that everyone has what they need to do their job for the day. We have what we call the farm, which is land-based. Uh, basically what they do over there is they make sure that they look after the parent stock, the brood stock. Um, they condition the parent stock so that they are ready to breed. We collect the eggs, we disinfect the eggs and they go to the hatchery. Um, and then they go to the section called grow out. So until they are about one gram to four grams. They do it in boxes, they use tractors and they use oxygen to get the fish onto the lake. And then from two grams, the fish stay on the water for anything from six to nine months and then they grow up to um, three to six hundred grams or eight hundred grams depending on what a customer might require. And now once the lake has gotten the fish to the correct size that's required they then interface with the next section, which is the factory. But the biggest issue for any tilapia farmer is feed. So feed constitutes 60% of your cost of production. When I entered into the tilapia farming, I thought it was an easy thing to do, especially when we started on the construction of ponds. I thought we can just use our picks, our walls to make the ponds. But later on I discovered that there was need for bigger, bigger machineries like excavators. With my family, we work together almost every day. It's like we are a puzzle. Some will be feeding and some they wake up as early as 4 a.m. to check the temperatures checking if everything is okay. I'm facing challenges of skills. People who know tilapia, to farm tilapia, there are very few. My dream is to make this place a training hub for all those who wish to do aquaculture in Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe, there's a great demand of tilapia fish, so I hope by the next five years, we'll be talking about 100 metric tons coming from this farm. Uh, fish farmers are special people. <laughs> you need to have a passion for fish farming um, to understand the vagaries of the business and also how the fish behaves um, and to understand what to do when something goes wrong. So I like that team spirit, that family unit um, that pulling together. That's what I enjoy the most.